We have made several videos related to engine requirement of Indian Navy and if we recap the two key takeaways which are the number of engines and dependency on the foreign countries. The Indian Navy vessels have requirement of more than 130 marine engines with some spares. At present, they are heavily dependent on Ukraine's engine. Though the marine engines have huge lifespan almost equal to the life of warship itself, However, dependency on Ukraine or any other foreign country in the present geopolitical situation is a big risk. Therefore, India is exploring options with engine manufacturers across the world to be able to develop and maintain the marine engines under Make in India in order to minimize the risks on its naval vessels and avoid the single vendor dependency. The then Prime Minister of United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, and Sri Narendra Modi of India had announced in their joint statement on 22nd April 2022 about the establishment of a joint working group on India-UK Electric Propulsion Capability Partnership with a goal of fostering military and industrial collaboration in marine electric propulsion system, following which G Power Conversion and Bharat Heavy Electronics Limited that is BHEL have signed a memorandum of understanding to develop an electric propulsion system to power the domestic warships. Now this electric propulsion system is meant for warships with displacement over 6000 tons. As per the Indian Express report of 29th April 2024. Last month UK has sent a letter of intent towards development of electric propulsion system in India via a government-to-government -government deal, which is a welcome news. The proposal is under examination from Indian officials. Following its acceptance, the contours and conditions of the agreement will be finalized. Once the agreement is signed, the key capability will be developed through a collaboration between UK's G Power Conversion and state-owned BHEL. Both companies have already signed the Memorandum of Understanding for Development of Integrated Full Electric Propulsion System. The UK Navy's the Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers are also integrated with full electric propulsion systems. In India, it is learned that system will be first tested on landing platform docks and next generation destroyers. Back in February 2021, GRSE has also signed a MOU with G Power Conversion and this MOU was another stepping stone to leverage the technology expertise of G Power Conversion and GRSE and drive the synergy to design electric and hybrid propulsion system for the future commercial and naval vessels building projects. GRSE has delivered the high-end warship ranging from fast patrol vessels, survey vessels, frigates and anti-submarine warfare corvettes to Indian Navy and Coast Guard. Now talking about the capabilities of G Power Conversion, it is pioneered in the field of integrated full electric and hybrid propulsion system for commercial as well as the military naval vessels globally with equipment installed on some of the latest platforms of US Navy and Royal Navy of UK including the Queen Elizabeth class of aircraft carrier. With around 1500 global ship references, G Power Conversion has massive experience in vessel power, energy, control operations, and many more technology designs and know-how to deliver flexible and reliable solution for integrated full electric and hybrid propulsion system. The G's dependable naval technologies are shock rated and proven on naval applications from 3 megawatt to 110 megawatt and include naval electric motors and generators, switchboards, power converters, power management and automation and control system. The 110 megawatt of power is required to drive the Queen Elizabeth class of aircraft carriers. These systems provide flexibility in selection and layout of power generation equipment and drive elements with enhancement of stealth features and fuel efficiency. 
keeping in mind the matured state of technology and potential of integration, electric propulsion has been identified as a key technology for Indian Navy on the new construction platforms. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.